We're talking now about blister beetles and how they impact horses with Dr. Chris Heine, our extension equine specialist. Chris, what are you hearing from horse owners around the state? Well, we actually had a few calls recently from some unique circumstances where they were finding blister beetle swarms actually in their barn. And that's uh, pretty alarming. They must be worse this year maybe than in previous years? Yeah, year to year, depending on environmental conditions, you can have bigger uh, presence of the beetles. Uh, so probably some of the hotter weather that was happening drove the beetles inside, whereas normally we'd actually find them out in the fields. Now, obviously this is cause for concern because it can really hurt the horses and obviously be painful for people too. Yeah, so blister beetles are extremely toxic for horses. Um, and interestingly, depending on the species, it may vary by the amount of beetle that they eat. Uh, so even just a little bit of ingestion of a beetle can end up being lethal for a horse. And for people, if you accidentally kind of hit it on your shoulder or anything, it actually can blister or, or burn you as well. So tell us a little bit more about what happens to the horses and, and what are some signs to, to keep in mind? So the active ingredient, I guess, in a beetle is cantharidin, and essentially it's a blistering agent. So it will irritate all of the mucous membranes, essentially through the horse's GI tract and urinary tract. So you may see a horse that um, is acting colicky, like normal horse behavior, or normal colicky horse behavior, lethargic, they don't wanna eat. Um, you may see a horse actually like playing in the water. So they're thirsty, but their mouth hurts. So they're looks like they're dunking their head in the water more than they're actually drinking it. Um, because some of the irritation of the mucous membranes, you may see them looking like they're straining to urinate. So really look for abnormal behavior signs in your horse and try to think about what may actually be causing that. And they would have ingested the blister beetle from their hay or grazing in the pasture? Yeah, so normally we always warn people about alfalfa. Because of the purple flowers essentially in alfalfa, that's what attracts the beetles. However, any flowering plant or weed can be attractive for the beetles. In the case of the swarming beetles, if they had gotten into the feed troughs or in their water buckets, the horses might have just accidentally ingested them. So we do really need to be careful if we actually see an outbreak of these guys. So in terms of control options, what kind of guidance do you have for horse owners? So the biggest one is actually trying to eliminate weeds. So certainly not having a lot of flowering broadleaf weeds in the pasture, so weed control that way. Um, mechanical control, which essentially is mowing and weed eating, can help eliminate a lot of those weeds that attract um, the beetles to your property. So those are probably the biggest suggestions. Um, if you do actually find that they're coming into the barn, then you have to use a premise spray and make sure that you're using products correctly and so Certainly, if you ever have questions about any of that, contacting your county educator is a great first step. How do I know that it's time to call the veterinarian? What, you know, what is that window of, of time there to protect the animal? So uh, essentially, it's a lot of supportive care for these horses after they've ingested beetles, but the quicker that you start treatment, the better. Um, again, this can be a lethal condition for horses. So really getting to know your horses, identifying abnormal behavior, and don't hesitate to call the veterinarian um, if you see any of those abnormal behaviors. For people who wanna learn more, there's an extension fact sheet available. Yeah, it's actually titled Blister Beetles in Alfalfa, which is where we normally think about the beetles occurring, but it really covers everything that you need to know concerning these beetles. Okay, great, thanks a lot. And for a link to that fact sheet, go to sunup.okstate.edu.